The equation that links weight, mass, and gravitational field strength is weight equals mass times gravitational field strength, which is W equals M times G, where the unit of weight is newtons, the unit of mass is kilograms, and the unit of gravitational field strength is newtons per kilogram. Also, it can be meters per second squared because it's an acceleration. So this is planet Earth, and a person has a mass of 100 kilograms. Gravitational field strength on Earth is 9.8 newtons per kilogram. So what is the person's weight? So the person's weight is going to be calculated using the equation weight equals mass times gravitational field strength, W equals m times g. So we use the equation as it is because we're working out W, weight. So weight equals 100 kilograms times 9.8 newtons per kilogram, which gives you a weight of 900 and 80 newtons. So the weight of this person on Earth is 980 newtons. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So the person now goes to Mars. The person's mass is still 100 kilograms. However, the gravitational field strength on Mars is 3.7 newtons per kilogram, nearly three times less than on Earth. So to calculate the person's new weight, you simply use W equals M times G. Weight equals mass times gravitational field strength, whereby weight equals 100 kilograms times 3.7 newtons per kilogram, and that will then give you a weight of 370 newtons. So weight and gravitational field strength are directly proportional. So if you increase the gravitational field strength, you are going to have an increased weight. If you lower the gravitational field strength, you are going to decrease the person's weight. And weight and mass are also directly proportional. This is the problem you will learn how to solve. Press pause to attempt it. The method and the answer will follow. So these two people, person A and B, are on Earth. Remember, Earth has a gravitational field strength of 9.8 newtons per kilogram. So we have their weights. Person A's weight is 680 newtons. Person B's weight is 470 newtons. So because we've got the gravitational field strength of Earth at 9.8 newtons per kilogram, and we've got their weights, we can use this information to calculate their masses. So for person B, we use the equation weight equals mass times gravitational field strength. So now we substitute in the numbers. 470 newtons equals mass times 9.8 newtons per kilogram. So now we rearrange for M, mass. So mass equals 470 newtons divided by 9.8 newtons per kilogram. That will give you a mass of 47.9 kilograms. So this person's weight is 470 newtons, but their mass due to the gravitational field strength on Earth is 47.9 kilograms. Person A's weight is 680 newtons. So now you substitute in the data, so it's 680 newtons equals mass times 9.8 newtons per kilogram. You now need to rearrange the equation for mass. So now mass equals 680 newtons divided by 9.8 newtons per kilogram. That gives you a mass of 69.4 kilograms. 69.4 kilograms. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.
Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.